Sensitivity labels in Azure Purview can be used to automatically apply labels to files and database columns. Purview uses the same classifications, also known as sensitive information types, as Microsoft 365. Sensitivity labels are created in the Microsoft 365 Security and Compliance Center. This enables you to extend your existing sensitivity labels across your Azure Purview assets. Auto-labeling rules are conditions that you specify on a label that define when a particular label should be applied. When these conditions are met, the label is automatically assigned to the data, retaining consistent sensitivity labels on your data at scale. When you create your labels, you can define auto-labeling rules for both files and database columns to apply the labels automatically with each data scan. After scanning your data in Purview, you can view the labels automatically applied in the Purview Catalog and Insights Reports. Sensitivity labels are supported in Azure Purview for the following data types. Automatic labeling for files is supported for Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 1 and Gen 2. Automatic labeling for database columns is supported for SQL Server, Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Database Managed Instance, Azure Synapse, and Azure Cosmos DB. By default, sensitivity labels are only available for assets in Microsoft 365, where you can apply them to files and emails. To apply sensitivity labels to assets in Azure Purview, you must explicitly consent to extending the labels and select the specific labels that you want to be available in Purview. To extend sensitivity labels to Purview, in Microsoft 365, you will need to navigate to the Information Protection page. You may need to click the Show All option at the bottom of the navigation bar on the left. Once you are on the Information Protection page, you should see the option to extend labeling to assets in Azure Purview. Click the Turn On button. Next, click Yes in the confirmation dialog that appears. Next, you'll need to either create a new label or modify your existing labels to set the scope to include Azure Purview assets. I will now demonstrate how you can edit an existing label. Select a label and click the Edit Label button. Click Next on the Name and Description page. On the Scope page, check the box next to Azure Purview Assets and click Next until you reach the Auto Labeling Rules page. This is where you can define the automatic labeling conditions that will apply across your files and Azure Purview Assets. Click Next until you reach the Auto Labeling for Database Columns page. Toggle the Option button to On and define the sensitive information types you would like to be detected in your database columns. Click Next and Save Label to finish editing the label. Repeat this process for any labels you would like to be applied to assets in Purview. For more information about automatically labeling your content in Purview, please see the official documentation at https aka.ms slash purview labels. The full documentation for Azure Purview can be found at https aka.ms slash purview docs.